we bring you Diamond Dynasty action between the Seattle Mariners and the Bulls. Baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Stepping up is Sam Haggerty, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Leading off the afternoon for Seattle, the second baseman, Sam. Haggerty. Here's the first pitch to him, and that one right first down pitch. Main Street. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Little hesitation right there by the batter. It was great execution by the pitcher down and away, but that looked like a late swing. Could have been sitting on something else. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. It's hot, but not too hot this afternoon, and even 90 degrees here at first pitch. Just hung in there on that one. Another 1 2 delivery and a fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone to open up the ball game. The left fielder, Jake Frazier. First pitch on the way. Jake Fraley comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. The 1 1 home. Misses for the second ball. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Fouled away. The three two pitch. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Batting third. So one right gone field. in the inning here with a runner Mitch. at first. And up next, the corner outfielder, Mitch Hanniger. From the belt, kicks and deals. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Guide into very shallow right. Under it is Myers, and there are two away now. Now he'll throw back to first, but they'll just get the one out here as the runner will get back safely at first. Next to hit is Kyle Lewis. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He's set and the pitch. Strike called. Now the throw down. Is not going to get him as he swipes second. Now he's spinning a throw back to second, and he'll dive back in safely. Comes set. The 0-1. These are the moments right here. You got a good pitcher on the mound. You don't know if these opportunities are going to present themselves throughout the course of the game. You have to capitalize in this situation. One and two. Here it is. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Now with the plate is Jake Cronenworth. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman. Jake. Here's the pitch. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Now 
Now time called at the plate that as he'll second. step out and try and Third start baseman. it again. Manny Machado. Here's Manny Machado now. As he'll take a look at ball one. Cronenworth gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. To second for one. Back to first. And Machado's retired as well. It's a double play. And now here is Trent that Grisham. Is the center fielder. Trent Grisham. And now the first pitch. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. Throw to first beats him easily. And the side is retired. New inning set to get underway, and here comes the first baseman, Ty France. The first baseman, Ty France. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. Throw is in time for the first out of the second. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. The third baseman, Kyle Seeger. Here's the first pitch. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. The 1-1. One, one. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. I'll tell you right now, he let go of that one, and he wanted to pull it back. That was a hanger, bad spot over the heart of the plate. He's lucky. He's lucky that's getting sent back to him. And it's fouled away. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Two balls and two strikes now. And he fouls this one off. Now another 2-2. Two, two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at 3-2. and two. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at-bats, you start to get into swing mode. So now here is Dylan Moore. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. And he misses with it, one and one. To one and two now. Here's the pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So now into the box is Fernando Tatis Jr. For the Bulls, the shortstop, Fernando Tatis Jr. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Lifted in the air out to right. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Batting fifth, the left field. Tommy. Fair. Stepping in now, Tommy Pham. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2-0. and oh. Well, the key for him on the mound is to keep the ball down. Certainly, hollow of the knee or lower. Sinker changeup guy, if he's going to succeed against this lineup, he's got to keep the ball down. Skied into very shallow right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? The tag, and he is out at third base. It's a double play. That is good. Now in the box, Crash Brad. Davis as the switch hitter will bat right handed here. Tried to hold up there as the appeal goes to Ricky Holiday at first, and Holiday says he offered at it, so that's strike one.
And it's one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through for a hit. So Will Myers will get a chance to bat this inning following the base hit. Batting seven. The right fielder. Will. Here's Will Myers. Myers. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Ready with the 1 0. Yep, that ball went out. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Lewis looks up, and that one is gone. That wasn't the plan. You just have a meeting with your pitching coach to go over some strategy, and all of a sudden, you throw one and it leaves the ballpark. The first baseman, Eric Hosmer. First baseman Eric Hosmer is in as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. They'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Now at the plate, here is Luis Torrens. He'll begin things here against you, Darvish. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. 0 oh 1, here it comes. The offense better get it going right here, because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. The 2 1. Hit in the air down the left field line. Left fielder is on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Marco Gonzalez. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. And he buries a breaking ball that time. Good pitch, and it's 0 2. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand okay. earlier and making sure that it goes the up before it comes down. Sam. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. He's set. Here it comes. Sam Haggerty is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Ball one. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Here's the one and two delivery. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some time. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Bottom of the inning now, and the pitcher bats next. That'll be you, Darvish. No First pitch of the AB now. Darvish. Now the 1 0 -oh is looked at for the first strike. That's taken for a cold strike two. Still one and two as he fouls it away.
popped up. Torrens has a play. He's got it one away. Back to the top of the order okay. now, Double and that'll bring up Jake Cronenworth. And now the first pitch. Cronenworth is a guy that has a lot of speed, no doubt about that. And while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively, it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball, given the position he plays. And not only just speed, but first step quickness speed. He's able to track balls down that other guys could not get. Swing and a long drive, deep, going, going, going. It's gone. Third baseman number 13, Manny Machado. And in steps Manny Machado. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A ball and a strike now to Machado. Bases are empty, one man out. Popped him up. France has room in foul territory, and that's the second out of the inning. Base is empty, now two back. away, and Center that field. brings up Trent Grisham. Grisham. From the stretch, as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. This was smoked the other way, high and deep to left. And that one is gone! Wow, nothing more demoralizing than giving up three home runs in the first three innings of a game. There's having a guy's number, and then there's absolutely owning him. This could be the latter. Now batter, shortstop, Fernando Tatis. Up next Junior. is Fernando Tatis Jr. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. And he watches one split the middle here, one and one. I can't imagine that pitcher was trying to put it right over the heart of the plate. Thank God he took that pitch right there. He'd be getting one back from the umpire. Scooped up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Set for the start of the fourth, and next it'll be the outfielder, Jake Fraley. Jake Fraley. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nope, that's the ball. Counts one and zero. Oh. Aiming for that outside corner, but just missing two and zero. Oh. Fraley stands in at an even six feet. Throws left-handed, swings the bat the same way. Normally patrols center field, but he's in left for this one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Up next for so next to hit is like Mitch Hanniger. Flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Here it comes. Hit on the ground is short. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. So now to the plate, Kyle Lewis struck out in his first at bat. He's set and the pitch. That's a ball. Ball one, no strikes. The 1 0. Is offered at and missed for the first strike. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. And it's one and two. He's in complete command of his two seamer right now. It's got great movement, great depth, running all. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. The left fielder, Tommy. First pitch of the AB Fair. now. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Hit back up the middle, and a base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard.
the catcher, number eight. Brown. Standing in now, Crash Davis. Davis standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. He singled in his first A.B. Pitch out, nothing doing. Fam on at first, nobody out. Now a throw over, and the runner back in standing. Now the one and one pitch. Fam's off and running, trying to bunt his way aboard, but this will get foul. He's set, and the one two pitch. Fouled off. Again, a one two. Swing and a long drive. Deep going, going, going. It's gone. This is that shows you how versatile and talented a player this guy really is. Earlier in a bat, he is squared to bunt. Then he says, forget that nonsense. I could take this guy deep and promptly does that. You're what a weapon. Clean. Number 16 now, is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 16. The right fielder, number five, Will Meyer. So here's Will Myers as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Fouled away. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. The Eric the Hosmer to the plate now. Eric. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hosmer. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. One. One one. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first. Two gone. Two down, no one on base. And the pitcher bats next. That will be you, Darvish. First offering on its way. And a slider not close here as he missed with it down and in. It's ball one. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. A ball and two strikes now. Here comes the one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. set for the start of the inning and that'll bring in Ty France the first, first pitch coming here it is Ty France the 0 1 pitch down the first baseline Hosmer has it and he'll step on first himself for the out so bases are empty with one out now and into bat the next the third baseman Kyle, Kyle Seeger. Seeger. Now here's the first offering. Ball, that's outside. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Sharp ground ball to third. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Mariners. Now batting. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound.
to the plate now. Dylan Moore as Darvish will jump ahead of him here with strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. That's over but low it's a ball and a strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Seeger the runner at first with one gun in the inning. And another foul ball. The one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two. And it's fouled away. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Now batting. So the stepping captain. in is Luis Torrens. He Red. flew out in his last day B. Has a look now the pitch. Two out with the man at first. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. And he fouls this one off. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Here's the first pitch. Hard hit ball to second. And there's one away. So with one gone in the inning now, that brings in Manny Machado. Manny Machado. Now the first pitch. Grounded back up the middle. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone in the home fifth. Into the box, Trent Grisham. One for two in the ball game thus far. First pitch on its way. Fastball in there for a called strike. Pretty much an obligatory take that time. Yeah, when the first two guys in the inning make first pitch outs, you really don't have much. Swing and a long drive. Deep. Going, going, going. It's gone. Must have been a good batting practice session today for this club. Five home runs in one game. You could just see it as the game was going on. Those hitters, they couldn't wait to get to the bat rack. It was like a fight to get up there and to get into the batter's box. Now batter. Good stop. Better man go. hit. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Fooled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Oh and two here it comes. This one's down to third. Seeger fields it cleanly. Throw cleanly into first and that ends the inning. J.P. Crawford will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the six. Number three, J.P. Crawford. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. Now Next up is base. Sam Haggerty. Sam. It's been an 0 for 2 Haggerty. effort for him to this point. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. One out, nobody on. takes strike two man this guy's really pitched well so far attacking the strike zone and he's really kept these hitters off balance 
can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Now, back. now to bat, Let's Jake Fraley. He struck Jake. out swinging in his last trip to the plate. He's set. Here it comes. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. A ball and a strike. Skied into straightaway right. And Myers will make the catch to retire the side. Eric Swanson enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 50. At the plate now is Tommy Pham, singled in his last at bat. Leading off for the Bulls, the left fielder, Tommy Pham. First pitch on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Lewis waits on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Ready to take his hacks again. Crash. Davis lasted a two run homer in his last at bat. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0 and 1. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. First pitch on the way. Will Myers stands in as he looks at ball one here. Great pitch right there. As a pitcher, you don't want hitters to get too comfortable in that batter's box. That pitch in now might set up some pitch outside. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. He's going to have to set his sights a little lower right there. That pitch was able to get by him. His swing was just a little under that one. Three and one to him now. And it's up to a three two full count now. Hey he's got excellent stuff working right now. Somebody has to make an adjustment. You're seeing a lot of late swings. No one's getting a front foot down. No one's getting a barrel to the baseball. Payoff pitch one more time. Fouled off. Too high, and that cost him ball four. Next to stand in is Eric Hosmer, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. From the stretch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. One and one coming now to Hosmer. One and two now. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitter's meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. The 2 2. And there he goes towards second. Pitch inside. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. High in the air into shallow left center. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Nelson Lamed is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start Denelson. inning number seven. Lamed. And stepping in, Mitch Hanniger. He bounced out last time up. The right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. In there, 0 and 1. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0 and 2. 
Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Stepping in next, Kyle Lewis struck out in his last trip to the plate. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That's back-to-back -back sliders on the outside part of the plate. Now would be a good time to come in with that good hard stuff inside. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 now. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. One of my pet peeves in the game. 1-0, 2-0, 3-1. You're all over the heater. How are you late on that fastball? And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Digging in will be Ty France trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. First offering. One home. Down the left field line and deep. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Hit the other way out toward right field. Myers is under it, and he Ladies makes and the catch for out number three. Smith is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. And maybe trying to get him off stride at the plate so he'll step out and ask for time. ready here's the first pitch the 1 0 misses ball two this one's flared toward left center and the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first out. And at the plate is Jake Cronenworth. He homered back Second in the third inning in this one. Jake. First Come delivery on, to him. On. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. 1-1 oh. one and one. Well, he's following the code not to miss down and into a lefty. Everything on the outer half of the plate. Fouled away. The one two and it's fouled away bases are empty one man out misses ball two this is a fun guy to watch when he's up there really battles doesn't take any pitches off he's a grinder always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher count full three balls and two strikes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Fraley is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Now to the plate. Here is Manny Machado. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Machado. Two out, nobody on. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. Outside, two and one. 
Big sweeping breaking ball right there. A good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Three and one to him now. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Skied into straightaway right. On the run is Henniger. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Ladies Daniel gentlemen, Hudson has been summoned from please. the bullpen as he'll do now so to start the eighth. Daniel Hudson. Now to the plate, Kyle Seeger, a hit in two at bats for him at this point Leading in the ballgame. The third baseman, Kyle. First pitch coming, here it is. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Seeger behind with an 0 and 2 count. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Up next, Dylan Moore. He went down on strikes last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Now the 1 0. The swing and a miss, strike one. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. One and two, the count to the Mariners shortstop. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Up next for Seattle. Now it'll be Luis Torrens. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. Pitch on the way. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit out towards second. And the off balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and the side is retired. Joe Smith will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Tom Murphy will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Trent Grisham is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning 1 and 0. Can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at 1 and 1. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage. That's shortstop. Better than go. So here's the cleanup hitter, Fernando Tatis Jr., grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Now the one and one pitch. That's the heavy sinker right there. He has the ability to get ground balls when he needs them, potential double play situations, or to get that jam job with no one on base, that tapper right back to the pitcher. One of the toughest pitches to hit in the game. He froze him on the breaking ball that time. Fernando Tatis Jr. becomes out number two this inning. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. set to start the ninth in this one and now it'll be the catcher Tom Murphy first offering on its way ready with the nothing in one pitch Swings through it for strike number two. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. 
good fastball there. Didn't get to swing, but the guy at the plate isn't someone who chases many bad pitches. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Tom Murphy becomes the first out in the ninth inning. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Sam Haggerty stands in as he looks at a called strike. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Revol. Two and one count now to the Mariners' leadoff batter. Two and two. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. First delivery to him. Jake Fraley is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1 0. A 2 0 count to the Mariners' left fielder. And how about the uncommon patience for the rookie in a big spot right here? These have been some tough pitches to lay off. 2 and 1 to count. Now here it comes. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Gotta love a reliever that comes in firing bullets, and his fastball is a good one. Last chance for the Mariners. Hit hard to third. Machado is there. On to first, and that's your ball game. So no big surprise in this one. The higher division team comes in here and takes care of business. Nice job by them. A 7-0 shutout final today. The Bulls took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. You Darvish pitches well enough to get the W. Marco Gonzalez struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com.